Hello everybody and welcome back to more Endless Space. We're gonna continue our left off. Uh, okay, that was supposed to jump up, but it didn't, so there we go. When we last left off, we was talking about the Raven and the Garbage, which will soon become the Raven Mark... No, well, will become the Raven and the ra Raven will no longer see, be there. And so, and anyway, it, it'll work out for the better. Um, we were talking about the size comparisons, how are here, um, and basically if you have a ship that shows up in this box right here, all right, you can come into your shipyards right here and build any of those ships that are in that class. So if I hit construction, I can build a Raven or bleh, bleh, right? Elksbjidvuf. So, there is that. So we are refitting the Raven, presently, uh, and we are adding an extra slipway as well. So we're going to wait on that, and do you, is your ship here yet? No ship in this class in orbit. What is it doing? Oh, I know what happened. Yep, okay. So we need to clear special orders out. The easiest way to do that is no default. Bam. Remove all. Earth. Get your pasty butt over there to Earth. So we can refit your ass so you can actually do shit quickly. That's right, do your slingshot maneuver around Venus. Get into Earth's gravity well and crash into the planet. Bam. Manage slip yards. Do, 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 do. Refit to. Do, 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 Bam! Yes. Okay, so 139% of the cost of a new ship. No. Um, and the reason for that is because if you look at minerals here, 60 duranium versus 73. Now, granted, you're seeing all this stuff here, but if we. Let's see, Corbinite. So maybe it's maybe it's cheaper to do this, uh, which I know it's a tough one. Once you get a pass like the 120 or 130 mark, seriously start thinking about just trashing the ship and recycling it versus refitting it. Um, now if I scrap, it's going to give me 25 uranium, 13 uranium, six mercasium, three boronide, 13. 1.3 gallocyte, 1.3 chrome cordmite. So yeah, it's it's a it's a touch and go type of thing. Uh, I think what we're gonna do because this ship is generically so cheap is we're gonna scrap this ship uh, just just because. And then so there's that it's scrapping, and then we're gonna build a brand new one. Dragon X2. Ah, I keep hitting return. Now we can't do that because yet because he's actually in the process of building the, dra the Dragon Mark One, and he should be done momentarily. Ah, uh, yes, the Raven has run out of fuel. If I come over here. Now we've got fuel, so he wants to go to Earth and go refuel from Colony. I, I, I did have it selected. Now we want to go back to Temple Turtle. And there we go. I'll come back in here to Shipyard Tasks, 5 days, 90, and done. So that ship is gone. Now we can make a new dragon. Construct dragon. We want this to be the dragon X2. Da 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 da. Now with vertical takeoff. <laughs> okay. Enough of that. Our extra slipway is only 10% done. Now let's see. 49ers are moving to Temple Turtle, which is a comet. So it's probably way out there. Yep, it's right there. Temple Turtle's right there. 
So he, oh my, he went from Saturn to Uranus in less than a month, basically. Okay, so if we come up here into our industry, we don't see uh, Temple Turtle anywhere. So what we want to do is come back to comments, have the 49ers selected, and select our Temple Turtle. Now what we want to do is unload all installations. ETA, zero seconds. So what we want to do is just go five seconds, right? So now, okay, it didn't, it didn't take. Why is it not taking? Maybe I need a full tick. I, I don't know. I know it's worked before. I don't know why. Okay, Temple Turtle. Oh, there it is. Oh my, I, don't, I don't know why I wasn't seeing that. So now we have 6.5 mining modules and that's gonna take 940 years to deplete. However, trust me, it will go much faster. That is because we are going to be researching mining production, some more. Pop that to the top, cue that. Cue that, get all this stuff done. And then we're gonna start building more ravens. Uh, and the reason for that is because the more you have just simple numbers, you know, I mean, if you're getting, oh, what's, what, what are they pulling out of there? They're pulling 80 tons out a year, two of them will pull 160. Four will pull 300, you know, 240. So, or no, 320. So the more you have, the, the much quicker. And especially once you start getting the higher mining productions, you know, the ones that are worth like 60, 120, 300,000 mining production bonuses. Oh my God. Yeah, my, my mining fleet, which is only it's five or six ships in my other game, uh, It um uh it's pulling out like seven thousand tons a year with five ships. Seven thousand tons that's a that's over a thousand tons per ship. That is ridiculous. Mining twenty-five additional tons. Crazy! So if we come in here to this, and we look at the gobbledygook, which we're going to rename. Uh, well, no, just, uh, okay, we're going to delete this. Oh, yes, okay. Yes, 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 yes. So we can't delete that one just yet. So we're just going to leave that name garbage for now. All right, so if we come back to our ship, it was mining. We're now mining 104 tons per year. Whereas previously we were only mining like what 84 so it does that that little 20 20 ton pop does not seem like much but when you start adding them together it dramatically it just cascades and makes it so much more better yes we know we're out of duranium we're trying to work on it Arr! okay so we want to actually come in here and redesign our Lexingtons because uh, they have a generation 2 engine on them uh, so we're going to copy this rename Lexington Maka Du Shazam Blam so our high density geranium armor is giving us 66,000 tons if we go new armor so it dropped a thousand tons very cool Let's remove everything. Just because we don't need anything. Alright, so we want 
No, we don't want ten of those. We want two of those. And then we want a very large. Because your ass is going to get weighed down. We're going to give you three. No, four. Yeah, 700 solar. We're actually going to give you more engine. Let's give you four engines, so that's 400 days. Ah, when does our reporting go away? We can haul 100,000 tons per Lexington Mark II at 1,400 kilometers per second, which is insanity for that much weight. Uh, and then we're going to be have enough fuel to go 500 days. Yes! So let's see, that's... What did that say for distance? 60 billion kilometers. So if we go from here... So that's only 4 billion kilometers. 5 billion kilometers from there to there. So... Our solar system's widest orbit is 30 billion kilometers. So this ship could start out here on whatever Eris, right? Could go to Eris. Well, it could start at Earth, go to Eris, go to the other side of Eris's orbit, and then back to Earth on a single tank of gas. That is just insane. I, I don't know why, but I, that's just, that is just crazy to me. We're still needing duranium. Oh my god. Get it on. Still adding an extra slipway. Now the good thing about our miner is it has two cargo holds of its own. So if there's not going to be a Lexington anywhere, we can still get minerals home. All right, so we want the dragon, which is now going to kick butt like nobody's business. Oh my goodness. Move that over. So we're gonna tell it to survey nearest body. Now let's see, give it, give it an hour. Look at that puppy move. Holy, he just bam, 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 bam. He's doing one of, he's doing a survey in an hour. Holy crap. Two hours to get there. And less than an hour to do it. Holy cow. I, I think I over OP'd him. Just a little. Five seconds. Okay, that's that's not enough. Two minutes. We'll time the next one. Alright. Five, thirty, less than 30 minutes to survey this asteroid. So let's give him 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 80, 100, 120. Hundred and twenty-eight minutes to get there. And that is a distance of... Ah, 64 million kilometers. And he's already started to survey it. So if we go two minutes at a time, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 12 minutes to survey that planet, like 15 minutes. That's crazy. Those ships are going to become invaluable to us later on down the line. Yes, I know a mineral shortage in our... Uh, I don't care. Shut up. Mineral shortage in... Uh, I know. Shut up. Slip race added on Earth. Commercial 1 Plus. Now, oh, we do not have enough duranium to build another raven 
Ah, we need 700 Duranium. What do we have here on Temple? We have 300. Oh my goodness, not good. And do we have any uh, research labs? Uh, ooh, that's gonna suck. All right, let's cancel this. Uh, do we have any? Oh, we've got somebody, yes. Okay, let's do the mining first. Get us an additional 25 tons. And then put the rest of this stuff in there. Yeah, the, the gate construction module, I think, goes down to like 15 days or something like that total in the end. And it is phenomenal. Uh, underground excavation is if you have a uh, an asteroid that you want to, to put a colony in. So like you're out exploring and you, have, you run into an enemy civilization and they're like, say, 10 jumps away and you don't have a single colony. Um, they don't have a jump gate on their side, but you have a jump gate on your side. You can take an asteroid, uh, an excavation module in a cargo ship or something with, with colonists to that system and build a colony in that asteroid. And this is assuming that there's no habitable planets anywhere. Uh, so you can have a colony there in that system, a presence, so that you can station ships uh, with, you know, you can put your you know, maintenance facility up there and you can you can host ships there so they're not breaking down constantly. Um, uh, okay, yeah. Okay, so let's get this done. 40,000. Should be done in about six months. Three, four, five, six. Okay, seven months. My bad. All right, then we can cue that to top. Okay, come back here, to here, to here. And now they're mining 130 per year. Yes, so we want to mine out enough to get a new raven. Which... Kitty, be quiet. I'm sorry, folks. My cat is just... She just... I want attention! I want attention! Yeah? Yeah, she's talking to me. I don't know if you guys can hear her. Or how well. Okay, so that's 500 and... Oh, there's... Oh, there's 70... Oh, my goodness. There's 700 there. Oh, we got enough. Excellent. Okay, so we're going to name this the... Uh, Cormorant. Add. And this one's going to be the... Brigandane. There we go. Two ravens in the production. We have Duranium coming in from the Dion. And we will have Duranium coming in from Temple Turtle as well, momentarily, once we have enough. Alright, give it to about 650. Alright, so now we want to come here. Down to the 49er. Temple Turtle. Load all minerals. And go back to Earth and unload all minerals. And then we want to refuel. Why? Just because. Wow. One month and he's back on Earth. <laughs> that is ridiculous. Now if we check Earth, we will have 14. Okay, never mind. They're at 70% or 80% and 60%. So, yeah, they use most of the minerals already. And that should be enough to get these both built. 34 labs. Okay, let's do the mining again, because that is going to save our bums. Wait, seriously? Five? Five! Ah! 
Okay, well, I guess this is gonna slow down. Slow down tremendously. Alright, so what do we else do we need? We got biology genetics, we don't need that. Uh, defensive systems. We want defensive systems because we want compressed carbon armor, and actually we want to get like to, to like crystalline armor, which is like five million. But that but hell, we want all the things, right? So we've got a guy 25 with a 5, so let's just set him to working on the low stuff that's 10,000 and below to get him some level ups, well, hopefully. I don't care what they are. Uh, energy weapons. We need energy weapons so that we can build our CWIS, or C-I-W-S. Um, oh, basically it's a point defense system. So we're going to start working on all this stuff, and likewise we're going to do all of the 2,000 costing stuff. Those will double up to 4,000, and then we'll do all the four level stuff, and so forth and so on. Cormorant class has been assigned to Shipyard. So Shipyard, you have two more ravens in you. 49ers, select. On the move, and then we will move the 49ers back to Temple Turtle. Bam, bang, bang, a lang, a lang. There we go. Now, if you look, we have 19 modules, and we didn't even have to unload the gear this time. And that's because it was unloaded the previous time. So now, this will only take 204 years. Trust me, it won't take us that long. I have no intention of sitting by idly and letting it take that long. Okay, what do we want to do next? Remember right, the moon is terraformed properly. No, it's still at a two. So, and how many, we have no people there, right. Right, we don't want any people there until it's terraformed. So we got our oxygen at 2.5, or 0.25. Um, so now we want to do, let's see, we want, let's copy the earth and put 1% argon in the air. So let's give this 0.01, add gas, save, and click go. Uh, no, that's 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 Earth. I I did the wrong thing there. Whoopsie! I feel silly now. I feel silly now. There we go. So I think it was point oh one. Yeah, point oh one. So right now we're just kind of holding. Uh, letting research get done and stuff like that. So where was that? Whoa, whoa, whoa. That was defensive systems? No, that was energy weapons. Right. All right, Catherine Williams, create 15 centimeter vocal laser and get all the 4,000 point stuff out of the way. Now that only took like a year of in-game time to get all those weapons done. If we didn't have our research up to, what, 600? Yeah, that didn't even take a year for her to complete. Uh, if we did not have our research where we have it... Uh, oopsie. Yeah. I see what I did there. And if you're slick, you caught what I did there as well. Yeah, I queued everything up under my defensive systems person. Meh, you win some, you lose some, right? Okay, defensive systems. I'm gonna come back up to defensive systems. Give her gamma shields and thermal reduction. And construction production person, we wanna come up here. Uh, we want the... 
currently working on mining, so we want to give you something quick and simple so we can get mining back up again as quickly as possible. So we're going to give you that. Shield regeneration rate should complete here next cycle. Bam! And it did nicely. How predictable. Alright, so let's check our temple turtle. Yeah, we're already at 400 tons. That is crazy. And we now also have with the temple turtles 150,000 cargo space. So it adds up quickly. Defensive system. So there we go. Now let's do the 3000. Then the 8000. And then the. I'm sorry, 4000. Then the 8000. And then the 10,000. Then the 15,000. Because that's just how we roll. Bigger, better, faster, harder. Yeah, baby. All right, energy weapons. We're up to the 8,000 mark, which means we forgot to do two right here. Aha, no, we didn't because they were 4,000. What you're going to see here is these, I believe, go up to 10,000 next. Well, it won't take long to get them done at 5,000. Yeah, they go, okay, they go up to 15,000. So these ones have like a multiplier of five or something. All right, advanced spinal mount, we want that. We really don't care about this because that just, you know, that reduces the power and stuff. So we are just gonna go like this and spam everything till we get there. And then select them individually. Earth's minerals are slowly starting to die out. Yeah, down to 16 years of mercasium and 13 years of sorium. Temple Turtle, though, has 1,200 tons of duranium. They have almost as much as Earth does by themselves. And they've only been mining for like three years. Ah, oh, that's a projected usage. Okay. drawn a blank as to why we were seeing 170,000 130,000 but it's all this production stuff over here all right all right so let's pull our prospectors 49ers so we're going to bring in again we're going to add two two little blips up there tilled keys uh, and tell them to refuel and return to Earth. Oh, need to load first. And then we need to refuel and just wait. Because once they get there, we're going to build two more. Yep. So we got 3,100, so we have enough to build like four more, I think. 
All right, let's name this one the... Legit. And then let's name this one the... Um... Epimax. And if you're asking where I'm getting these names from, I am literally just pulling them out of thin air. Effectively out of my rear. There's not a lot up there except for names. I've always been able to be able to come up with just random names just on the fly. It's not a big deal. You need a random name for something? Here you go. You need a plot for a story? Here you go. What kind of story you want? What kind of name you want? And it's done. All right, so we want to come back in here and add them to the 49ers. And we have five of these ships cruising around Earth, just waiting for something to do. Let's take them back to Temple Tuttle in a month. Look at that. Boom. And let's see how much they're going to mine per year. 600 tons, so we're now down to 120 years. Originally it was like 270 years or something like that, I think. Um, and we'll be out of this in eight. Now, the interesting thing about these mining modules, and I just, it, it, to me, it's the most interesting thing there is uh, for them. And that is that if you're on Earth, right, or you're on a planetoid, and you have a human population, like we do now, it's 12.4 years before the Sorium is exhausted. Okay, if we had something there, and let's say we deleted all the Sorium, we're down zero Sorium, boom. This will cut down to like eight years. However, these guys mine at that full rate no matter what. So if this were to disappear right now, this would still take 120.6 years, whereas if it was a planetoid, it would then take like 61 or something years. So it, it's kind of not fair that way. But I still think it's kind of cool because you have full efficiency. Yeah, your time doesn't decrease once, you know, the other ones are, are exhausted, but you're not mining at a slower rate because you're not dividing those mines up. It, it's, it's bizarre. I'm, I'm thinking it might actually be a bug. Because that just does not seem right. However, that is going to be all the time we have today. We got us some mineral or some, uh, some miners built. We got some serious research production done. Um, before we go, I will do some more research. Okay, I got the two things I wanted to get done here, here, done. So next, logistics and ground combat. And this one is one that I li quite literally just spam out. And I'll take the other ones and go bam. Yes, Q. There. Not a problem. And so that is it. We are going to end this episode here. I really hope you enjoyed the video as well as the ambiance that we are producing here. Until next time, folks, I will talk to you all later. Y'all have a good day, good evening, good morning, good afternoon, whatever you're doing. Peace out.